Alright guys, welcome back to my channel. I am Crank Addict and, well, you know the rest. Today, um, we're working on this fender still. We're trying to get this thing all set up just right so we can do the final bodywork and paint. And we've got some crazy gaps here, so I'm just going to weld a little bit of 8 inch filler rod in here and grind it smooth and see what we can do with that. So, stay tuned. I don't know if you guys can see this in the video, but yeah, these gaps are really weird here. Uh, we got a nice little, I don't know, what is that, 3 16 of a gap right in here. This is beautiful. But from about here all the way out to here, it really opens up. And we could probably close it up about an eighth inch pretty easy. And then from around here to out here, we also want to close this area here up. So I'm going to be welding in two little pieces of metal and then we'll grind them flush and we'll see how it looks. I've marked this panel to weld in from here to there and in this gap here. But if you see up on top here, this is our 90 degree flange. So I'm very tempted to just go ahead and weld this piece on the door itself instead of on the fender. Um, but here I've got a little bit more of a, of a corner an edge so this should work pretty well with my eighth inch steel that I bought so I'm gonna go ahead and sand this down bend some steel and tack it in and then we'll see about the top I don't know I might still do the top as well I'd rather keep all the welding on one piece because um, I think that door is correct I think it's this fender that's messed up one option that I have with this fender is instead of welding this eighth inch rod to the side I could probably just split it down the side here and push it apart and then stitch weld it back up there are two uh, skins here is the inner and outer fender so I have to cut all the way through and then weld it up but that's a possibility um, I might do that as opposed to welding on here because then I'll keep that flat edge here that might be nice but let's go into this bottle one first and we'll see how that goes when you're working on this stuff just tack it in the best you can and try to bend it to match the contour I went ahead and just butted up the fender to the door. Um, I've got about an eighth inch gap down here on the bottom, about an eighth inch gap in the middle. I just need to drop a tape line and connect the dots. And then I'll know how much to grind away. Um, you can see on top, ugh, gotta fix that. But on the bottom part here, 
That's looking pretty good. It might be just a little tight through there, but that's not bad. That's looking a lot better. So anyway, that worked so well. Um, I don't think it's going to look right just to add filler rod to the door. That's going to be a little notch here on top. I don't want that little bump just to close that gap. So I'm actually going to cut this fender, pry it apart, and then re-weld it to close that gap. I sliced through the fender, both sides. This has double thickness here. And now we're going to open this up. So we can close that gap like that. That's a pretty good gut size gap to weld, but we can do it. All right, well, I started by welding this little gap up here on top first to help stabilize the two pieces. And now that this is stabilized, I'm gonna fill in the gap slowly so you don't warp the sheet metal. Okay, well, I hope you guys are keeping track of how many times I've put this fender on because I have lost track at this point. Okay. I'm using two shims now on top, which I think is a good number of shims. I can live with that, I think. Let's go to fly mode. Whee! All right. So like I said, I cut this piece here, pushed it over, welded it back up. It's a little bondo there, not a big deal. I like this gap here. This is now more flush with the door. Before, it was kind of pushed in. It's like I said, I was able to, once I cut it, I was able to pull it out a little bit more. And I got a little bit of a big gap still, but then it gets really nice all through here. So I'm not going to worry about this light. That's going to be, that's nitpicking there for a daily driver. But uh, that's definitely looking a lot better. So uh, I really want to put the top on this vehicle so I can see how this door lines up. I think that would be nice. Um, but it is like freezing cold outside and um, I don't know if I want to mess with that today. All right, well, short video today, but I wanted to kind of show you that you don't have to live with the door gaps that GM or even China gave us. Um, you thought those GM employees were lazy? Oh my gosh, some of these are really bad. But 
we got them looking a lot better. And I think once we get this, uh, these wheel arches here patched, then we'll be able to get this thing painted. So we're moving along, moving along. If you haven't hit that subscribe button, please do so now. Also, thumbs up always helps us in our ratings. And I appreciate you guys watching. Thanks.